Hi everyone, um, today it is Friday, January 26th. Um, today I'm supposed to go to school for two hours, but my team decided we will work from home. It's for my artificial intelligence class. Um, we are working with just uh, rules, um, Java, the system export S something. Um, so we have to finish this for next Friday. Um, we're still having trouble to get the hang of it, um, but we are working on it. So I will start a live stream and work on that. And I will also try to vlog my day and hopefully I won't um, stop in the middle of the day. It really happens a lot um, that I start vlogging and in the middle of the day I stop. And I ended up, I end up never publishing what I worked for in the beginning of the day, so it's really frustrating. So let's get started. And uh... I first started by washing my glasses and updating my to-do list. After that, I started coding. I was working on a function in Just Rules to for witnesses. So if a witness saw see a suspect on a certain location, I wanted to had the fact that both people are on a certain location at a certain time. I had a lot of trouble to implement that. I didn't finish even, um, like I will explain at the end of this clip. I also updated my scenario. So a scenario is a list of facts. For example, Mary is in the gym at 12 p.m. Um, Jim, Jim is in the cafeteria at 1 p.m., etc. So I updated with the new rules we had, for example, the shoe size. So I also added that Mary have a shoe size of eight, for example, and things like that. So I updated my previous code with the new functions we created. I also try to understand the just rules syntax because it's very different and it's a lot of adjustment to do and I needed to read the manual and the documentation to understand functions. So I coded for a very, very long time. When you get in the coding zone, you don't stop until you can't do it anymore. So that's what I did. I'm also using the command lines for Git. We are working on a artificial intelligence class, so we have facts and rules. I'm trying to explain to you what I'm working on. So we have facts and rules and we have to match them to do some deductions. I don't know if that's the right word in English. Um, so yeah, we have a murder story, so with facts and rules we have to be able to find who's the murderer. So um, right now we need more rules. So. If you are in the, for example, the rule is if you are in the same room as a weapon, then you are in possession of that weapon. Um, so we need more rules right now to um, have uh, all our points. For all these hours, I was working on a rule um, for witness. So if you are a witness and you see someone at a location at a specified time, then the fact then two facts are going to come out from this rule that the witness was at this location at that time but also that the person who saw the witness, the suspect like the person who saw and the witness were both at the same time at the same place so these are two new facts that the, that we can use to um, find a murderer so I was working on that and it doesn't work yet um, I don't have any error message but I don't have anything printing um, printing in the console. Um, I feel like my code is shit <laughs> because I'm very tired and I just try to make something work and I'll just, like my mindset was, I just want it to work and after that I'll deal with making it more beautiful, like uh, more efficient. 
um, but I didn't even um, was able to make it working so I'll just work on it in a couple of hours or tomorrow um, yeah so that's it for what I was doing um, we are using just rules it's a rule engine um, we could have also use prolog but um, just rule is what everyone is used to in the class so that's what we chose Uh, maybe when I finish the program I can film what it looks like. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, that might be interesting. Especially for those of you who are not in tech, um, code is always a mystery. But I have to say that with this code everything is like in English plain words. So it's easier to understand what's happening. Even if for me it's complicated because we're not used to that structure in the code. I use a new app while I was working, um, which is Clock, um, so I can show you the time. I think it's very interesting, and especially for me when I will be editing this video, it will be easier because I'll be able to see the time. Um, ah, how, how can I... Anyway, here you go. So it's 11.33, and uh, I'm very hungry. Um, I don't know what to do next, I have a huge to-do list today, but I don't know why, but these past few days I have been feeling like I don't want to do anything, whether it's working on my blog, like things I enjoy, or working on homework. I really don't feel like it. Today I just worked on it because I was, I was, I didn't have any choice. Um, also my team was working on it, so I wanted to work with them because otherwise they will hate me. <laughs> but. Like right now, I'm on my own, I'm not accountable to anybody and uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening to me. Do you ever get these, these period of time where you just never want to do anything? Usually for me it lasts like a day or two, but now it's been three or four days and it's really, it's really bad because maybe I need some rest, but at some point you have to stop having rest. I mean, I watch a lot of TV shows in the past few days. <laughs> I think maybe I want to film a video or edit a video. I think that would make me feel productive and happy at the same time and maybe down after that I can get the momentum going because I really think it's all about momentum. Like when you get started, sometimes you get in your little study bubble like uh, the YouTuber Anna would say and then everything comes more easily. So I think I will eat and then even if it's early I'm hungry so I will eat and then I might film a video. Um, maybe I can um, plan February and then it will maybe it will motivate me or maybe it will stress me and do the opposite effect. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So I'll see you in a couple hours. After that it was lunchtime. I had cheese macaroni, I guess you can call it. I also watched the latest episode of Catfish, the TV show. I think it was season 7, episode 4 or something like that. It was with Sierra and someone else. After that I started editing a video while I was watching the TV show so it was mostly a time-lapse video so it was easy to do at the same time. It is 11-12 p.m. and now um, we have a great lightning in my office so I think I'm gonna film an upcoming video for my YouTube channel so I'll do that. After that, I filmed a new video um, about why I'm doing study live stream sessions. It is 1.31 p.m. I just got done filming my new video. And now I'm gonna go to the post office because I received a parcel this week and I wasn't home, so I need to get it. And I also need... I also need to return a tripod that I bought on Amazon, but it's not high enough, I can't do anything about it. Like, look at this, it's so small, it's like... It's like my hand is small. And I mean, I need a tripod that cannot... It's, it's 8 inch actually, and I need a tripod that's 12 inch. I, I'm not good with inch, and when I saw 8 and it looked exactly like the one I had before, so I thought it was the same one, but it was smaller, and that can't do it. So now I need to uh, return it, but I it cost me money, so I 
I don't think it's, I'm not sure it's worth it to return it. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I just went and get this to the post office. Um, so now I'm gonna open it. I already know what it is. It's a, oh, I have no idea how we say that in English. It's a, it's, maybe it will be written in, in, in the box. What's the name in English? But in French, it's a camisole. Oh, that's so cute. So it's a company that reached out to me on Instagram uh, on email actually and offered me to, and offered to send it to me. Um, so I don't know the name of the company, but I just read their website and it's um, I think it's people one or two people that are that were traveling the world and they were proud of being Canadian and they just felt like they wanted to show it while they were traveling. So they created a a brand. Um, that would show you're Canadian, if I can say that. So, look at this. They they even wrote me a little letter with Mary. I'm very excited. It's like, oh, it's Canalier. The, the name of the company is Canalier. I'm going to post it to my Instagram because it looks very nice. Seriously, so nice. Oh wow! Yeah, it's really nice. So they said, "Mary, welcome to the Canadian crew and the Airbus world. We're so happy and excited to have you. Happy adventuring!" Oh, and they get get, get me this patch here. Anyway, can't focus, <laughs> but it's a Scandinavian life. How does this thing go? I'm gonna try it and I'll be back. I just tried it and I didn't feel comfortable to show it to the camera because it, it's like those, um, you know, it's so huge on the side that you just have to wear like a different bra to wear it or something, but. As you can see, I'm wearing like tech t-shirts and I'm always doing it, almost. So I'm not really used to wearing those. But I mean, maybe in the summer when it's hot and I stay inside or even if I can go out, maybe I will put like a tube or something you call it and wear it. But thanks to the company, Canelian. By the way, they didn't want me to do any YouTube videos. They just wanted me to do a... But they didn't want me to do anything, just do what I want with it. So. So thanks to that company. At 2.30 p.m. I started recording a voiceover for my YouTube video study with me during a snowstorm. I started including the voiceover in the video and edit the actual voiceover. I also realized that I didn't update you guys on my to-do list at the end of the video, so I decided to recreate my to-do list and cross what I did that day and what I didn't do, so I just could update you at the end of the video. And then my cat decided he wanted to be with me and work with me, so I worked with him for a while. I went on YouTube to find some free to use and no copyright music for my background music for the video. I just uploaded a video on private on my YouTube channel. It's a study with me during a snowstorm. And I think uh, now I'm gonna go wash this in because it's really dirty there and I will watch my video again to make sure the sound is alright on the video, so let's do it.
Then my kitchen was a mess really. I'm even shy to show you what it looked like. I don't think the video really show you how bad it was, but I watched my video again on my iPad to make sure the sound was perfect and I washed the dishes. After that, I started watching the latest episode of Riverdale, which is episode 10, I think it was. And I had dinner, so it was a salad with some shrimp. And my dessert was really good. It was a chocolate fondue. Hi everyone! I just figured out why my camera was so yellow before. Like I was filming, if you looked at one of the latest video I filmed, the study with me during the snowstorm. At the end of the video, it's like yellow image when I filmed, and it did that just before. And I put the my camera on auto and everything works now. The color is amazing. So I just took a break. I think it was three hours work. Um, I just hang out on the couch. I I watch Riverdale, the latest episode. I think it was episode 11 and I didn't do much. I don't remember what I did. But now it's 7.23 and I'm back on schedule if I can say that. I will look at my jewelries here. I have a lot to do still but I have a lot of energy right now. I can't even take a wine and a litter. 7.30 I worked on YouTube again, I uploaded my video and I did the thumbnail. I also started editing this video you are watching right now, which is what I did most of the night actually. the next day um, yesterday I didn't film my night because my boyfriend arrived around 9 p.m. and then I just spent the night with him we watched TV and watched washed the rest of the dishes that I didn't do earlier so that's it um, thanks for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and put a thumbs up to this video it really motivates me to continue and I also have a blog you can visit at girlnostech.com I'm also on every social media it's my username is Gummo Stick. Thanks for watching. Bye.